Hey there, seventh graders and fellow Steelers fans. Um, next lesson here in, in Transmath, Chapter 6, Lesson 5, is vertical angles. So like before, I'm going to have you take notes right along with me. So in your notes, there's 6, 5, uh, and the title of this is on vertical angles. And then as just a reminder, this is a flipped lesson. And so you're going to watch it here in class, take notes right along with me. But then this, this video is posted on Moodle. So if you need to see it again, if you need some additional help on this one, um, if you ever have trouble falling asleep at night, you just go on, click it on like that. It'll put you right to sleep. That was a joke. You should have smiled at least. So that's there, and, and you can see it as many times as you need to. So <clears throat> this is really the next several uh, lessons are going to be spent all about angles. And so we got three big vocabulary words today. And your learning target is: Can you find the measure of any missing angles in uh, in different diagrams? We're going to see three different types of um, m missing angles. And the math today really isn't that challenging. You're just looking for angles and you need to know some basic relationships. So um, the first thing I want you to do is draw a, a straight angle, which as you remember from earlier in this chapter is just a 180 degree uh, angle. And then off that straight angle make a ray coming off like that. So what we got here, <clears throat> we got two, two different angles. And I'm going to have you make the smaller of the two, the acute angle, 50 degrees. So the first kind of problems you're looking at today is find this missing angle. So from what we know based on the straight angle, the math is pretty easy. We know the measure of a straight angle is exactly 180 degrees. So all you do is you take 180 degrees, take out the 50 degrees that we've already no exists right there and get our leftover 130 degrees. That angle is 130 degrees. We have a word for if we know an angle's measures add up to 180 degrees. Do you remember that word from sixth grade? It's a review for you. Supplementary is the word. So right below this picture, write that word. Supplementary. Anytime you hear the word supplementary, in math, your brain should click 180 degrees. And so the definition for supplementary is angles, angles that add up to 180 degrees. And you might just put straight angle in there as a reminder. Anytime we see a straight angle, you know your 180 degrees is in play there. And so um, so that's the first kind of angles that you're going to see. And then we're going to develop that a little bit more into what we call vertical angles. So here's topic number one, supplementary. You'll come back and just practice on those in just a little bit. The next picture I want you to make right below this is two intersecting lines. And I'm going to make them two different colors here so you can kind of tell them apart. They kind of form an X like that. And in, in these examples, by the way, we're not doing any vertices. We're just kind of looking at the angle measures. And so in those two intersecting lines, four angles are created. We've got these two that are on the left and the right hand side, and then the, the top and the bottom angles. So mark those in with an angle. And your learning target for this is you should be able to be given one angle, which I'm going to give you this one just a little bit, and then be able to know all three other measures by doing very little math. And so I'm going to have you write 30 degrees in that little kind of right-hand side angle. Now, if you look at those, you can see that this is 30 degrees, and the other angle I marked straight across from it with the red mark those two angles are congruent. So if you know that one of these is 30 degrees, automatically the other one straight across from it is 30 degrees. And you can kind of look at your picture and see that those two angles are the same angle. Now, how do we get the orange parts? Well, if you look at it, and if you look at what we did earlier up here, and we know the measure of a straight angle is 180 degrees, and if I just cover up this chunk right down here, I'm not going to because it would take the picture out, but if you just ignore the bottom half, and if you, this is part is 30 degrees here, then the rest of that green line, which is a straight angle, is 180 degrees minus 30 degrees, which is 150. Automatically, you know that's 150 degrees, and if the top angle is 150, then straight across from it is also 150 degrees. 
right? So again, the angles that are straight across from each other are congruent. We have a special name for what those angles are called, and that name is vertical angles. So right below this, write that vocab word out, vertical angles. Right, and if we know a vertical angles means straight up and down. So one, 150 and 150 are vertical angles, and 30 and 30 are vertical angles. So vertical angles are angles made from intersecting lines and there's always going to be when two lines intersect four angles that are created and these angles are angles that are straight across from each other angles that are across from each other So again, that's the 150 and the 150, and the 30 and the 30. The thing to put down that's hugely important for vertical angles, these are always congruent. Right? 150 and the 150, if it's in, in there, they're vertical, but you can also say they're horizontal, because the 30 and the 30 up there are horizontal. So when you think vertical angles are just straight across like that. And, and then go back and like underline this, highlight it. That's a biggie for, for vertical angles, to know that they're the same, straight across from each other. And then you combine your knowledge with what we know about supplementary angles to go back and find the opposite measure for the, for the next uh, or the other missing angles. All right, so we got supplementary angles. We got vertical angles. Uh, and there's one more term for this lesson. Uh, and that's complementary angles. So below this, I want you to make a picture of a 90 degree angle. And make sure that you have your 90 degree angle marked as such. And then draw a ray that intersects that 90 degree angle, creating two different angles. And on this top angle, I want you to mark this one as 20 degrees. And our job would be Find the other chunk of the missing angle. Well, again, the math is pretty simple in this one. The whole measure there is 90 degrees. 20 of it's used up. So all you got to do is take the 90, take out the 20 degrees. Our 70 degree angle is missing. Therefore, that guy right there is 70 degrees. We have a word for this. When two angles add up to 90 degrees, the word is complementary. Complimentary, right? Kind of like compliment, like Mr. Kramer, I really like your hair today. Thank you. I spent lots of time on it this morning. Not that kind of compliment. Anytime you hear compliment in math, think 90 degrees. So complimentary is angles that add up to 90 degrees. Just like supplementary is angles that add up to 180. So those are three big words. What I'm going to have you do next is try a couple of these on your own and see if you've been learning. So I'm going to have uh, you pause the video right now, look back at your notes, fill in anything that we need to get filled in. So pause me right now. All right, we're back. So last part of this lesson I'd like you to do is copy these three problems down right here and fill in all the missing angles, all the ones that are colored yellow. So we do a little quick little check-in and see if you've been learning. I got one of each type here. So I'm going to have you pause the video again and team up with your table partner and find all missing angles. Ready to go. All right, let's check in and see how you did. So problem A, if we know that this left-hand angle is 35 degrees, best way to attack this one is to go right over to the right-hand angle. That's 35 degrees as well. Those, as well, those are vertical angles. To find the other missing side, and it doesn't matter whether you go to the top or the bottom next, know that that's a straight line, so it's a straight angle, meaning 180 degrees minus 130 or minus 35 is 145 degrees. So this top angle is 145 degrees. Then if the top one's 145, so is the bottom one, 145 degrees as well. Problem A done. Hey, another pattern you might have noticed: all four of these add up to 360. Right, because think you'd be making a circle all the way around as well. So that's another way you can kind of double check and make sure you got those right is do they add up to 360. Your second one down here, 15 degrees, that's a 90 degree angle. So 90 minus 15, 
75 degrees. So this one up here, 75 degrees. Done. Complementary angles. Problem C, got a straight line. The big chunk of it, 135 is already used up. So to find that little bit over there, take 180, take out your 135. What's left over? 45 degrees. So that 45 degree angle is the one that's missing there. Okay, make any fixes if you need to so that your notes are absolutely correct. And you're going to do some practice on these angles as well. All right, thank you, everybody. Good luck.